The United Nations said only 40% of their financial appeal to help the refugees has been funded. That means 60% of the needs are unmet. If we are really a humanitarian country that wants to help the people of Syria with no negative consequences, we could be putting hundreds of millions of dollars into helping those refugees. Get John Kerry, who's supposed to be the nation's highest diplomat, to start using his diplomatic skills. That does not mean military. John Kerry, it's been a long time since you've been in the military, and those weren't pretty days either. John Kerry should not be trying to take this nation to war. John Kerry should be the highest diplomat in this country, using his skills to find non-violent, real solutions to the crisis in Syria. Let's force this government to stay out of war and let's move on to the things that we need you to do that will benefit the American people and not keep us in an endless cycle of violence. We're not out here because we enjoy what we're seeing on the internet. We are horrified and terrified by what the Assad regime has, has done against the people of Syria. Why do we have a United Nations if we're not going to use the United Nations? We say that we should send the UN peacekeeping forces immediately. We need to hold peace talks as soon as possible. There is no military solution to the crisis in Syria. John Kerry's up there saying that limited strikes, that one single cruise missile will send a message. Since when do cruise missiles ever solve the problem? If the United States cruise missile lands in a densely populated area, what's going to happen with the, the dead civilians occurring from that strike? What's going to happen about collateral damage? We were there for both hearings and nobody talked about the collateral damage of a bomb strike in Syria. Why isn't anyone asking those questions?